This card that we're making today is going to be multi-layered. The card base is Early Espresso. Then I have a piece of Cajun Craze, some more Early Espresso, and I'll put the measurements on my blog post. I have a piece of crumb cake, another piece of Early Espresso, and some Fairy Vanilla. I have another piece of Fairy Vanilla for um, stamping some images that are going to be cut out and put on. So let's move the card base and we're going to start stamping on our piece of crumb cake. So the stamps that I'm using for this card is super super popular right now. It's called our Butterfly Basics and I'm just going to start randomly stamping some of the images onto my crumb cake using the Early Espresso ink. Now when you're using photopolymer it's always best to stamp on our paper piercing mat. If you don't have one don't worry it'll still work but just so you know you do get a better image when you use your paper piercing mat underneath and if you're wondering about what type of black ink to use on these I don't recommend you use our stays on I recommend you use our memento ink much much better on these but as I mentioned we're going to use our early espresso now I'm going to stamp off my paper so I'm gonna put a piece of computer paper on top of that so I don't get ink on my paper piercing mat now I'm inking up my first image and I'm just going to stamp randomly onto my crumb cake, stamping off the edges. This is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. The best way to clean the photopolymer is to use water. I've just got water in an old misting bottle from Stampin' Up and I just spray it on and then I take a old cloth and wipe it off and that's how I clean my photopolymer stamp. The, these photopolymer stamps will stain with the ink but that's fine. They're still going to stamp just fine and you don't want to store them in the sunlight because the natural light will deteriorate the photopolymer because they are created with light. Now I'm taking the flower stamp and I'm going to stamp that randomly as well and I'm not worried about it overlapping because ultimately I'm going to be putting these, these two pieces on top anyway so it's just to give it a bit of a background. Making a bit of a collage. third image which is the little postage image inside the stamp set love this and now just to fill in some of the blanks I'm going to use this honeycomb image and again I'm just stamping here and there I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this piece of fairy vanilla using the same ink and the same images but I want it to be very light so I'm going to stamp it off twice onto my scrap paper and then I'm stamping lightly onto my fairy vanilla and I'm not even going to ink this up again I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it ever so lightly okay same thing with the flower stamp off a couple times and then lightly stamping onto my fairy vanilla just creating a very soft background Going in with the honeycomb stamp. Okay. Now I'm taking the expression sending wishes your way. Now this is all from the same stamp set. Fabulous stamp set. I'm just going to stamp on my scrap paper first. Make sure it's inked up nice. And again I'm using my early espresso. I'm just going to stamp this right in this corner. Okay. All right, I have adhesive behind this fairy vanilla and I'm just going to stick it onto my early espresso. I'm going to adhere this onto my card base, just like that. And then we're going to take our scrap piece of fairy vanilla and using my early espresso, I'm inking up the flower. And I'm just going to stamp that down. Set that aside for a second. I have some more 
fairy vanilla and this time I'm taking the butterflies and because these are solid images I'm going to ink them up using my markers so first I'm starting with my Sahara sand I'm just coloring all over I'm doing that for both butterflies and then I'm taking my hello honey and I'm just randomly going onto the butterfly on the wings I want to pull the Cajun craze background into the butterfly so I need to add some of that color as well so here's my Cajun craze marker I'm just trying to make sure I'm adding color on both sides of the wings so they all tie in And then lastly, a little bit of the early espresso. Making sure that, again, you're getting equal amounts of color, but don't be too worried about it because we're gonna actually mist this with water. So making sure that you're not misting on your cards, lightly mist with water, and then just stamp down onto your cardstock and hold it there for a second and you will be able to see that the water is bleeding and spreading out and that's what I want for this card and I'm also holding it for a second so that the water soaks into the paper because I'm not using watercolor paper I'm just using plain fairy vanilla so you can see the really cool look that I'm getting with that butterfly doing the same thing with the little butterfly mist with water and stamp down and hold it for a second. Okay, really, really pretty. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry. I'm going to bring back my flowers and I'm going to color them. Now to color them, I'm gonna use my aqua painter which has water in the barrel and I'm just going back and forth in my hand until I can feel that the water's coming out. I have my Hello Honey and I'm squeezing it so that I have a puddle of ink in the lid and then I'm just taking my Aqua Painter, picking up that ink and then coloring right onto my flower. Now I'm going to be cutting these out so I'm not going to be worried too much about going over the lines. Also because I used my Early Espresso, the ink will bleed a little bit but that is the look I'm going for so I'm okay with that. If you don't want your outline to bleed, you need to use Stays On. Now I'm grabbing my wild wasabi and I'm going to add some green to my stems and to my leaves. Again, I'm not worrying about going out of the lines because this is going to be trimmed out. Okay, I'm just going to use my paper snips and I'm going to cut this out which is known as fussy cutting because you do have your details and the trick when you're doing fussy cutting is to move your paper not just your scissors you want to move your paper around makes it very easy and very fast so this shouldn't take too long and I'll come right back when I'm done okay I've cut out my flower and I also went ahead and cut out my two butterflies and then I just kind of bent the wings and I'm going to put them on the front of my card using Stampin' Dimensionals. And I have a couple of tiny little spots, so what I'm going to do is just trim up little tiny pieces of the dimensionals. Stick them on. Okay, peel off the backings. Right on there, going off the bottom a little bit. Now I'm just putting a dimensional in the center of this butterfly because I want the wings to be lifted up. And put that butterfly right down there like that. Doing the same thing with the tiny butterfly. Just put a little bit of dimensional in the center. Bend his wings a bit to give him some shape. And 
think I'll tuck him right in between those two flowers. And then I had a little flower that came off when I was cutting it. So I saved that and I'm just going to stick that on as well. Just going to stick that right there. And then last but not least, a little dazzling diamonds. Use my two-way glue pen for this. And I'm just kind of randomly scribbling onto my butterfly, a bit on my flowers. And sprinkle it on. And there's my card. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and happy stamping.